Hey guys, welcome to another edition of MMO Look New Spotlight. Path of Exile by Grinding Gear Games will be opening its doors to the public from March 30th to April 1st. Uh, they're doing a stress test uh, for the servers, so anybody that's been wanting to play the game should register and download for the weekend for sure. Uh, the game is a lot of fun, and anyone that does register and play uh, has a chance to enter in the closed beta, so you guys definitely should check this out. Star Trek Online by Cryptic and Perfect World is going to have an event to celebrate the relaunch for the European servers. Q will be back and he's going to be offering a double experience buff for the weekend. This is going to end on April 2nd. Also players that log in for the event will receive an IDIC Tribble. These Tribbles are different for each class and they provide different buffs. And when you're grouped up with other players, um, the whole group gets different buffs. So this is pretty cool. Also, they recently added um, NPCs and players' ships to do different activities so you can uh, launch your duty officers to do even more um, missions. So this is pretty cool and they recently added a new mining daily to the game. So they've been adding updates quite frequently to Star Trek and it's, it's really a lot of fun guys. So you might want to log in and check it out and get your free Tribble. World of Tanks by Wargaming.net recently had an update on March 30th. With the update, 7.2 patch, added two new maps to the game, 22 new crew skills and perks, and also a number of new tanks to the game. They've also added some tweaks to existing tanks, um, so this is a great update, guys. You might want to check it out. DC Universe Online will be upping the ante for the rewards for its legendary players. Lifetimers and subscribers for PC will be receiving 500 station cash a month, while PlayStation players will be receiving 500 loyalty points. They're also adding Promethium lock boxes that drop in the game from various enemies, and legendary status can unlock these for free. They're also adding a monthly uh, allowance of 150 replay badges for legendary status and you can actually unlock the instances that you want to run again so this is raids and, and whatever so this is great news for DC Universe Online SG Interactive has recently updated its game Grand Chase Heroes the newest act Finding Refuge adds a new playhouse system to the game. Uh, this offers a chance for players to customize uh, their house in various ways with a garden and other things. Uh, they've also added a new Easter egg event to the game uh, with the update, so you guys might want to check this out if you guys are Grand Chase fans. EU Technics Limited Racing Game Auto Club Revolution has just entered its open beta phase. Racing fans will want to check out this free to play MMO where players can unlock vehicles at no cost and earn new rides through the progression system. The game also features single player modes too, so this is pretty cool. You might want to check this out. Microvolts recently received a new update that added a new Wild West map to the game. This also added a new skirmish mode and new costume sets, new weapons, and new accessories. So this is pretty cool news for Microvolts, guys. Forsaken World's new expansion, Nightfall, is now live. This expansion offered new quests and new dungeons to the game, and also with the launch of the expansion, uh, they're offering for players level 40 plus uh, a chance to win a pet with these phantom orbs they're giving out. Well guys, that's all for news this week. If you like my news videos, go ahead and like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Alright, I'll see you next week.